it is 10 to midnight, October 29th, almost October 30th. I'm going to go for our third and final walk of the day and see what we see. I didn't have my phone on me earlier and some lady very clearly acted like she was trying to hit me and with a smile on her face and then she turned around and started yelling racial epithets and tried to hit me again. It's one of the times I chose not to have my camera going. So. And of course one of the people that likes to come out when I come out, I confronted them. And you know, they, what's up with you man? What's, what's wrong? And then when you answer them, see, someone just came out and then there just happens to be someone walking up. Like I said, it's 10 to midnight. And every time I come out, this is what happens. This is the ninth state since April. And you can tell it's very clearly a communist style, democratically backed, you know, uh, program. People that don't have a lot of money are going to do, or any money, are going to do uh, anything, really. I mean, but there's, it's deeper than that. See, look, there just happens to be someone coming through the gas station that's been closed since 10, you know. I've come out. I wish I had my camera then, but I've come out, you know, and this is in several states now. I can come out at 2 in the morning and this will happen. We're in a rough area. I get that, you know. Things are pretty weird right now in the country, but this happens every time. They got some dickhead coming out, pretending to be on their phone, pretending to do this, pretending to do that. And all they're really doing is working for the cops. See? You trying to, you trying to tell me that guy's just out walking at midnight? just for shits and gigs, get the fuck out of here. You know, they got people at the Candlewood Suites that do this, and that's a more upscale hotel, you know. And like I said, this is a rougher area, so everything's closed, so where'd that guy come from? You see what I'm saying? There goes a cop. See, I called uh, the other day, there goes two cops. See that? I called the other day because I was getting, I've been getting harassed just where I'm at now for a month. See? Oh, there's more. There's one under the fucking... Here, sit. There's one under the fucking awning. And then there's one, and then another one behind him. Now, I called in the afternoon because I've been getting harassed about my dog for no fucking reason. At this, this place where I've been staying, you know, and I gave him... It's a lot of money. Even w w the GM was nice. She worked with me. She gave me a fair rate, but it's a lot of money to stay in a hotel. Okay. And you got the daytime motherfuckers. You know, oh, does your dog bite? Do you have a registration number for her? Do you have this? Do you have that? Well, you can't ask any of that legally. And I offered you idiots a letter. And they go, no, we don't need to see that. So I called and the dispatch says, oh, you're not going to get, you're not going to get TPT today. TPD. And then when I came back from the gym at 1 in the morning, which was this morning, Thursday morning, I'm walking back from the gym, five cop cars passed me on the way home. So, the world's totally fucked right now. Oh, there's four over there. There's two white Tampa, uh, Tallahassee PD and two black uh, patrol units. See that? But when you're getting fucked with, nobody's in sight. When someone's threatening you with a tech because you're recording the hotel parking lot while you walk your dog showing what happens and that person's pretending to fuck with their radio and they don't even live here. Look at this. See that? That's how fucked the world is right now. That guy's a watcher. I, I hate truckers. And this is a, a study. You can check up on this. But truckers and... Uh, MCs love to get in on this shit because that's basically money to drive around or ride around, you know, while you're on the move. 
which is, I, it's all a good idea, but they're literally doing it to innocent people. See, look at these two synchronizing. See that? Isn't that something? And then these two here. Look at all the people popping out when I pop out. They get a, they get a fucking notification. Look at that. See, two, two. Two going that way, two going that way. So, anyway. I'll try not to talk too much, but... Like I said, it's 10 to midnight on a Thursday. Ain't nothing going on. You know? See? Someone honking their horn. And what happened earlier is, is I was walking to the store going this direction on the other side of the street. This lady flipped her blinker on to turn left, but saw me, saw that I wasn't where I was headed yet. So she decided to, with her blinker turning left, to turn left, to continue forward and cut right in front of me going about 20 miles an hour. Literally speed up to cut in front of me and she had a smile on her face. Just like the other video I have, there's some, see look, some gentleman in a blue Altima. Four cops here. Four cops doing jack and shit. I mean, maybe they're doing something, but probably not. But when I'm getting fucking hassled every fucking day, those are the same motherfuckers that follow me. But, you know, oh, a store owner calls, it's a big deal. Look how many cops show up for one person if what I think's going on is going on. So they got maybe a homeless person or something like that hanging out in front of the store. Does it really take four or five officers to do that? But when I, there's an actual problem going on and a civilian phones in, oh, we're busy. And that's been, that's been the attitude in Arizona. That's been the attitude in California. You know, and if they do show up, they'll talk shit to you. You know, they'll belittle you. They'll talk to you like you're a fucking kid. You know, tell you to, oh, you need to take your meds, you need to get some sleep, you look like you haven't slept. Basically tell you that you're on drugs. Come here. It's basically what they're implying. That what's going on is all in your head. Alabama and Florida beyond that since the beginning of 2016 and I have three years of experience almost four in Arizona in northwestern Arizona where it was real bad you know it is political it is religious um, but it, it trickles down and what it what it just looks like is this is a socialism or a a communist program, but I mean, it is, it is religious and political. Don't, don't be fooled. See, look at, oh, there just happens to be people pulling through at 10 to midnight, huh? Check in here is 11 a.m. Check in and check out. I mean, yeah, people come through late at night, but look, they just happen to be where I'm at. See how they just stop? It's a white, newer uh, Chrysler minivan. Okay, go ahead. And a Nissan uh, Versa behind him. Yeah. And all I'm doing, anytime I leave, is I'm either going to the store and or the gym and walking my dog. See that? Well, what are they doing? They're not lost. There's no cars coming. See that? So this will definitely be going up. And like I said, they make it look like a fucking, you know, a program like, oh, citizens on patrol or whatever. But what are they doing? What are they doing besides fucking stalking people? You know, they no need, they no need to fucking, they're, they're not, they're not checking in. Oh, look, Texas plates, Texas plates, a white Chrysler Pacifica and a silver fucking Nissan Versa from Texas. LCV 9602. There you go. See that right 
right with all those cops over there. But when I call when I'm actually facing a real problem, nope. We're busy. You're not getting anybody. And then not even a couple hours after that, uh, that's when the, the other video got posted. Some dude blaring his fucking music in the parking lot yelling at me because he's on, on, on the recording. Well, you're in the parking lot of the hotel I'm staying at and I have to record 